Okay, this is a soft restraint. Soft restraint has a narrow end, then it has an end up here that's wider, it has a slit in it, and then this little loop that's on top. When you're applying it to the patient, you make sure that there's nothing on the there's nothing on the skin as far as a shirt, jewelry, or anything like that, so everything is clear. Putting the thick side, that's whatever way you're comfortable with. I'm going to start it with this. I'm going to put my finger through it because as I come over to this side, I want to be able to grab hold of the strap that I was holding and then pull it straight through so it makes it nice and easy. Now, on this side, it has Velcro. So you need to kind of connect this Velcro, but you don't want to make it to where it's super tight or you can't have any blood flowing through, and you don't want it to where it's super loose. So you just want it kind of taut. So once it's taut, it's on there, you can judge it, you can put your finger through there, but this is the point where you need to make it connect. Then we're going to continue up, we're going to loop. You don't want to go all the way to the end and try to thread this thing through. One, you most likely won't have time. If you're putting this on somebody, it's not like they're holding their arm out for you to do this just like they are right now. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this side. I'm going to grab it, put it through the top. Now again, no creases. It's nice and smooth on the body. This isn't a time. This is where when we turn this down, it's there. I should be able to get my finger in here just to check to make sure that they're, I'm using my pinky depending on the size of your finger. Don't want the thing to be super, super loose, but you don't want it to be super tight to where his fingers start to turn blue and all those other things. Right? So that's basically your tie. Okay, once the person's restraint, the soft restraint is applied to the hand and you're going to tie it to the bed, I'm going to show you just how to do a slip knot. This isn't really where you want to tie it to the bed, and this is an old bed, so these kind here are kind of phased out. But this, we're going to go straight down here, and in order to do a slip knot, all we want to do is go down one time, and then we like to go from one side to this or make a V. The next time that we go down, you have your V. So now I have a nice V with the strap going down. And then the last one, I'm just going to put my fingers here so that when I put this loop through, I'm going to grab the strap and I'm pulling it tight. And now this is secure. When he pulls up, it's locked. But if the nurse needs to release it, it's one pull. So they would pull, and this is now released. And then this, the nurse can do as she's done. And that's called a slip knot. All right, another thing as far as applying it to the ankle when the person is on the bed, of course we're not, the person is not going to have their shoes. You're going to take shoes, socks off, and this is going to be applied to the bare skin. An easy way of doing this is to make sure that the, the loop part of this is up in the air. And then when you slide this through, we have the slit end in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach straight through to grab the slit end of the other side, pulling it through and there's just Velcro that's on here. Once this is connected, you want to make sure that that is taut. You don't want it tight, but you need to have it taut at this time. Then you continue on up, loop it, go through the little loop on the top, then you grab the other end, and you're going to loop it through, just like so. Now I have one on each side. There's no creases, there's no knots in this thing, so it's nice flush against the skin. Then we're going to turn that down to where it's down at the bottom. Now I have my straps. I'm going to tie one to each side of this. So again, I'm going to just go down between the bar. I'm going to go on each side of this strap right here, creating a V. And then the last time that I go down, I'm just putting my fingers straight there and then handing it to them and then pulling it tight. And that side is now tied. Coming over here, I can do the same thing as I did over here or I can do it with a little bit of a modification. I can go straight down here, go to each side of this strap 
which prevents it from slipping is all that it does. And then some officers like to, instead of going down, putting their fingers here and doing what I did over here, they like to go straight up to this strap and just create their slip knot on this strap. So they're basically just looping it around and allowing the slip knot to be up on this top part up here. And it's still the same method. You still have, you can't move either side. They're both tied down. It's just one happens to be tied up here. So the release is still there. So all I did was just go through creating it here or continuing on down like I was before and then just handing it to and then same thing. Again remembering there are no shoes, no socks. This must be applied to the skin and it must not have any creases, wrinkles or knots in it and it can't be too tight. In other words, the medical staff will check to make sure that the blood is flowing, that there's enough room, but not too much room. And again, it has to be quick release. So once those are released, they can roll the patient if need be, or do whatever they need to have done. And that's it. Okay. Another method of tying a slip knot is the two-strap method which you tie one strap to one side and the other to the other side. This prevents the leg from going both ways, either up and down or sideways. So if I go and I tie my slip knot over here, again, I'm just going down into the bar. I like to make the V. And then putting my fingers there, I can do this, and that would be one of the slip knots, this would be the other, doing the same thing, which is nothing more than just going around, creating my V, going this method. Now I have the two, he can't move his leg back and forth or sideways. And then another method of doing this would be, doing this is coming straight down here, creating strap here, creating our V, and then tying these two together, and then creating our slip knot in the middle. So now we only have three straps on, on each side, and the one in the middle with these two being tied together. This is also, also used when you're tying underneath a cart to their hands or their feet. But the key here is keeping a slip knot. You have to be able to release with one tug for that thing to come apart. That's the key to this whole whole process. Okay, now what do we do? Show how to tie up.